calculating the length of the internal diagonal of a cube. So for a cube with side length a, the distance from one corner to the opposite corner, which is also known as the internal diagonal, is a times the square root of 3. So if we have a cube here of side length a, we've shown the internal diagonal in blue, connecting opposing vertices. Now the blue line is the hypotenuse for a right triangle with legs shown in green. One of these legs has length a. But the other green line is also hypotenuse for yet another right triangle with legs shown in orange. And each of these legs is length a as well. Now recalling the Pythagorean theorem, which states that the hypotenuse of a right triangle is equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of the legs. So we can calculate the other green line using the Pythagorean theorem. It's just a times the square root of 2. And now we can use the two green lines, the legs of the original right triangle, to calculate the length of the blue line or the internal diagonal. So it'll be the square root of a squared plus a root 2 squared, which is a times the square root of 3. Now this generalizes to higher dimensions. A two-dimensional cube is also known as a square, a three-dimensional cube is a cube, four dimensions and higher is known as a hypercube. So for an n-dimensional cube or hypercube with side length a, the internal diagonal has length a times the square root of n.